Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today, another rock cutting video. That's what we have right now. It's still too muddy. Hopefully next time. But until then, let's see what I got. Starting things off with a little bit of black agate. Let's take a look. Okay, it's got a nice little vein going through the top of it. Not that great, there's no white in it. If I trim it down, it might look nice with light through it. Next up, we got this rock here. I believe it came from my subscriber. I think it's like a jasper and agate. Let's take a look. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, it's got some in there patterns. Probably a mix, like jasper agate. There's some interesting stuff in there. Some cool patterns. A little bit of red. It's an interesting stone. Cool. Here's another one of those gastropod shells that comes from the bird's eye marble. Oh, nice shell in there. Very nice. Wish it was a little more contrast, but otherwise it's great. Here we have a little agate nodule. It was larger, but this side fractured off. And, oh, interesting. There's some interesting little patterns and stuff going on in there. A little bit of color. There's a little bit of red right there. Neat. Here's some more of that Bertrandite or Tiffany stone from Utah. Let's take a look. Oh, it's very dark, but still the pattern, beautiful. You can see little lines going through it. Kind of reminds you of the Windman Staten pattern that you get in meteorites. Here's another piece of the Vernon Wonderstone. Let's take a look. Oh. Okay, this side doesn't have a whole lot, this edge of it, I should say. But there in the middle, it's not too bad. Very interesting. I actually cut this in a different direction than I normally cut them. So it's kind of giving a different cross section. A little more of the black agate. This one had a thicker band on it here, so I was hoping it would be a little bit more coming into it. And yeah, we got a little bit more going on there. So if you can see, it, we've got some banding going on in there. A little bit more clarity, so if I grind it down, that should have a nice pattern in it. Here's another piece of Bertrandite. The other side broke, so this is all we got. This one was very dark. Just purple. <laughs> this was a decent piece of kind of agate that was just sitting around. You got kind of some banding at the top. Maybe a little at the bottom. So let's take a look. Oh, hey, it's got even more banding inside. It's got this clear center to it, colorless center. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. It's not too bad. I'm not actually sure where this came from. <laughs> Here's some pink agate that replaced wood that comes from Nevada. And on the inside, hey look, it's pink. <laughs> Try and hold that, there we go. So yeah, you could, you can see how it lets light through really nicely. It's just kind of a nice pink, like salmon color. Neat stuff. This was a piece for the uh, Jasper Agate that comes from the Drum Mountains that I was looking forward to cutting. Let's take a look. Oh, neat. So you've got the colorless going around the outside. And look how broken up that is in the middle. There's a little red on the bottom, but otherwise mostly yellow. Pretty neat though. It really does look pretty cool. The very edge where the yellow comes in contact with the colors, I bet if you cut it right, which I wanna try and do with some of the other ones, you might get some nice plume or moss going on. So here's some more of that Bertrandite. It broke into a few pieces. So we'll just kind of look at some of the pieces, but it had a nice kind of lavender color in it. Kind of a, a lighter purple than a lot of them. And then the main area that had an interesting core to it, darker color, but pretty cool looking stuff. You got all these little bits of black dendrites going through it. Here's another nice piece of petrified wood that came from Nevada. Let's take a look. Oh, this one's a bit more clear than some of the other ones that are like this one. Not the pink wood, this, well, I think what they call bog wood. But uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that one. 
This is, I think, an agate nodule. This was sent to me by one of my subscribers several months ago. Let's take a look. Okay, interesting. So I don't really have banding in it. So not really a true agate, I don't think. Just chalcedony, but pretty cool. Got a few colors in there. This is a little piece of that Salino Wonderstone that I made a video about over a year ago. But yeah, this is a small piece I hadn't cut open yet. You can see some black there, so I bet there's some black in it. Oh, <laughs> there's a lot of black in it. Yeah, sometimes they, they'll they just be solid black with, black with just a little bit of banding right on the edge. Which isn't what you want. You want the black to just be part of it, but still, cool. Another piece of Bertrandite. Okay, another very dark one, but you can see little spots of white showing you that there is some pattern in there. All right, not too bad. This is one of the thunder eggs that my subscriber sent me. Probably Oregon or something like that. Let's take a look. Oh, looks like it's disappearing. So the thicker, thicker area is here and then it's kind of disappearing going this way. I'm not really seeing any banding, which is what you want to see in the thunder eggs, but yeah, still cool. Another piece of the Vernon Wonderstone, which from the outside you can already tell is going to look good on the inside, so let's get into it. Oh, it looks even better inside. Look at that. This has got a nice range of color. Very nice. That's a really cool piece for a small one. Yeah, I really like that. And here's the last one for today. It's uh, some agate that my subscriber gave me, and I could see that from the outside. Look at that pink on the center. So I was pretty excited, and hopefully it'll continue inside. A little bit. Okay, so it's kind of disappearing. It's just on that edge. Okay, still really cool. It's a really cool agate, that pink right in the middle. And there you have it. That's what we got today. Some really nice stuff. There were a few other ones I had cut that had fallen apart that didn't look very good. <laughs> but anyway, those are the good ones, and we'll see you on the next one. Remember, there is treasure everywhere.